Well, it's elk season, and we just got off a trip, and we're packing to go on another. Now, the thing is, is we just, we got a lot of questions asking, what do you normally put in your pack? What do you carry? You know, where do you bring? So we just thought we'd hurry up for right now in the middle of season and do a quick breakdown. One, got my new Hoyt bow that I really can't show you yet, but they've got a bunch of us out there shooting the new bows before they hit the line to get anything, you know, ch check it, run it through all our tests, drop it, shoot it, do the whole nine yards. And I can tell you something, that shows you how great of a company Hoyt is because they want them out there before y'all get your hands on them. And I'm telling you right now, <laughs> it'll be worth the wait. Now, as I break things down, you can see I have a pile of stuff here. I'm gonna go through a few basics. One, I'm a big fan, if you haven't seen it for years, of all the leafy stuff. This is my redhead, it's in Strata. What I love about it, just this little bit of movement blends you into the terrain. It gives you that three-dimensional pattern that is priceless. We've had elk, we've had every kind of critter you can imagine, literally so close, and you've seen the footage for years but just so close because they don't see you. Everybody makes fun, especially my wife. I love this new, look at that. It's like the old Cabela's Crusher, but they did it in leafy. I love this because two of the biggest things that move in the woods, on the mountains, is your hands and your head. And when you can stop, eliminate that human silhouette of that head right here, Number, it's just incredible. The other thing I like over baseball caps is, you see here, as we're hunting up in the mountains and we're hunting in hot weather, this protects my neck from getting burnt. These little styles, and if, if people say, well, I can't shoot, you just flip it up. Now, the big thing is, is I've got two packs. I've got this one for my you know, everyday hunting, but then I also have my pack frame. The pack frame I have in there carries the Caribou Gear game bags, I swear by them. And you know, to me, game bags, years ago, you got the cheesecloth, you put, not anymore, guys. You know, take your time, invest in a set of good game bags because you're gonna use them year after year. You wash them out, boom, they're ready to go again. What I like about these, they're just, everything about them, straps to hang, the whole nine yards, and so portable. And the whole kit is right here. The other thing that we carry with us that I really like is a small portable tarp. That's it, this is the tarp. Why would you carry a tarp? Well, you put a bull down and it's not in the greatest position. Take the tarp that weighs nothing out of your pack, stretch it out. Now you have a place to put all your game meat to keep it clean, keep it off the ground. I got my Easton Axis 400 five millimeter. And the reason I'm shooting the five is because I could put one of the new blackout lighted knocks on there because I really like the lighted knocks. And as you could see here, I've got an arrow that's just shy of 500 grains, the whole entire thing. I've got a 50 grain brass insert and I'm shooting my trusted and true for 20 plus years, Spitfire. I'm shooting my new Hoyt at 68 pounds at 27 inches. I'm carrying enough kinetic energy to put that broadhead, well, I got proof put it completely through on a complete pass through on a bullet 25 yards. Just got done in Utah with that one. He's dead. <sighs> Don't go nowhere without our thermocells. And I'll tell you why, they wait, really, there's hardly any weight to it. I got two butanes, I got one inside, I've got my pads, I got everything to go that'll last me for a few days, which is just, it's a godsend when you're sitting there and you got all those mosquitoes and the bugs. This little thing, I don't have to tell you about it because you did it and you know that that little sucker works. I've got my Cyclops rechargeable headlamp, but it also snaps off. So I've got a flashlight too, which is really nice. And the other cool thing, I got a magnet on it. So I can you know, put it on something and I'm all ready to go. My optics, I got my intensity 1600 rangefinder. I got my 10 by 42 intensity binos, but I also have my CX Pros. And these right here is a bino range finder built in. I actually go back and forth depending on the hunt, depending how we're hiking and whatever, you know, I go back and forth using either setups. I've got my knife. This is a muddy interchangeable blades, which I like, because then I don't have to bring a sharpening stone. I just bring a couple extra blades. I really like that setup. Small, lightweight. 
I always have some type of spray that's matching the animal that I'm hunting. Why? Because if you're moving in, you're calling, and all of a sudden that wind hits you on the back of the neck or something, and you got that bull working, or if you're hunting cows, whatever, I hurry up and I put a, disperse a little bit of scent, whether it's on my buck bomb spray or my spray here. I mean, you're constantly trying to help give me that millisecond more of time to make the shot. I've got wind check bottles everywhere. I'll have one or two in my backpack, so if I run out, I always can check the wind. I've got a pen and a marker. A lot of tags you've got to sign right at the harvest. I got cable ties. Why cable ties? Super easy way to attach your tag either to the carcass or to the antlers. It's just things that don't weigh hardly anything go a long way. My earth scent wafers. I love this stuff because it's not liquid. You pin them on, you pin them on your pack, you pin them on your hat, and you always have some type of somewhat of a masking odor to help you get that moment, that shot. When it comes to calls, boy, we could talk forever. I, again, you know, there's our tubes. I, I take the material off and I normally just camo myself. I just like it. Um, you know, we've got our HS squeeze call. You can dial it. You can turn around and put it in your tube. Now, you don't want to hit it hard and fast. If you hit it like this, it's almost a bark. So you want to be careful. You put your thumb and you roll it. Get it halfway down. Now, what nice with the tube, you can, you're looking there, the bull's answering you, and you could send your call in back of you. So hopefully he comes and he passes you. My Carlton Reeds, they've never failed me. Your bugles, everything that you want, you can be done with this call. You know, I got spare releases in my pack. My sent away spray. There's, you know, and when you look at all this stuff, you're like, man, what are you carrying all this for? Few things that I didn't have that are in here, scent wipes or wet ones and toilet paper.